very uh, small uh, fonts. So we have six theta minus ten theta. Okay. And divided by six theta plus six theta plus ten theta. And uh, this is uh, equal to one. And what is this? One minus two sec theta into tan theta plus two tan square theta. Is that uh, the question? Yes, sir. One minus uh, sec theta into tan theta plus so two, two sec theta. theta. This is cosec theta. Two sec theta. Oh, two sec theta into tan theta plus two tan square theta. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, we can solve this one, right, as well as uh, this one. So one idea, one simple idea is that we can write all the ratios in the form of what? In the form of sine and cos. This is the uh, one idea. And the second approach could be is that all the terms are in sec theta and uh, tan theta. So what is the identity that we know? Shaiman. About sec theta and uh, tan theta, what is the identity? Tan theta plus sec theta equals one. Mm -hmm. So sec squared theta minus, this is the identity, right? All have squares. Mm -hmm. So cos x squared theta minus cot squared theta one and uh, sine squared theta plus cot squared theta equals two. So these are the three. Always uh, remember these. Okay, so one thing we can do in here is that write one as uh, in the RHS. Or let us simplify the RHS part. So this is fractional term. So what should we do first, everyone? Rationalize. What? Rationalize, absolutely correct. So we should uh, rationalize, right? So this is tan theta so into sec theta minus tan theta and divided by, this is what, sec theta and uh, plus uh, minus tan. So this is uh, this the above one is sec theta minus tan theta whole square, right? And uh, in the denominator, what do we have? What uh, what uh, what can we write in the denominator? Uh, where you are joining? After so many days, so you have to bear with us. Yes, so in the denominator, what should we write, everyone? Sec square theta minus tan square theta. Yes, absolutely right. So why were you hesitating? Right, absolutely right. So this is what? what? One. One. So let us, uh, yeah. So, this one as it. Okay, now, uh, yeah, what is this whole square? Can you tell me? What is uh, this whole square? Six, six square t. Yes. Minus uh, two sec theta tan theta. Yes. Plus yes. tan square theta. Okay. So we have uh, we have this term, right? We have this term, okay. So one thing uh, we can do is that simplify this term. Or what we can do is that in here we have tan squared theta. In here we have tan squared theta. In here we don't have six squared theta. So what we can do for this uh, six squared theta? Yes. 
what we can do about this x square theta? We don't need uh, this x square theta, right? So what we can do about it, Shaima? Yes, Hashid, uh, Amar, Rizwan, Assalamu Alaikum, if your mic is working. Yeah, Rizwan, mic is working, but yes, Shreb, yeah, so, okay, we'll have to. Write it in terms of uh, tan squared theta. Yeah, yeah, so we can write, so what, uh, yeah, that is what I'm asking, what we can write uh, about the expected. Yeah, who has written the chat box? Oh. So you are not uh, talking today, is one. Yeah, what we can write uh, in, ter in terms of tan square theta, what is this x square theta? One plus tan square theta. Okay, so our answer is, uh, yeah, right, we got our answer. Correct? Yes, sir. One minus two sec theta. So this you solved, right? So why if you ask you knew all the answers? Sir, I did it in terms of sine and cos and I couldn't get the answer. Oh yeah. So okay. So then you'll have to uh, yeah, so that is my bad that I only told you guys that right in terms of uh, sine and cos one. But uh, in here, in here we can see that all the terms are in the form of sec and tan. Sec and tan, but we have this identity which relates sec and tan. So in this question, we don't need to use the sine and cos, right? We can obviously we can use this uh, sine and cos. So in that case, we'll have to replace all these uh, with sine and cos, right? There is so much complications. So yeah. So the answer would be dependent upon the right hand side. Okay. Yeah, uh, clear, uh, clear everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, so where were we? Uh, we were doing, oh, did you note uh, down this uh, question? Yes, everybody knows. Yes, down I took a screenshot. Okay, so now let us, uh, let us quickly finish this. Uh, we have 15 minutes, so in 15 minutes, uh, we finish this exercise and then we'll start uh, the problem right so have you guys uh, played uno yes have you guys played uno hmm No, no. Okay, because in the probability chapter you have uh, cards. So in that uh, thing, we'll have to remember what are the spades, what are the diamonds, what are the, uh, what do you call, what are the other things, and then how many face cards, how many number cards. So this will be helpful. Okay, so we were uh, doing this question, right? And uh, I ask you guys to solve this part. So any of you guys uh, solve this? Anyone who has, who has solved this question? Yes, one. Sir. So this was your question, is one. Did you solve this ahead further? Hmm. No one. Okay, so you guys uh, try this, uh, and uh, whenever you face any problem, then we discuss this problem, right? Because from one method we have already proved, uh, we have already proven uh, this identity. So this relationship. So you guys uh, try this method and see if you find uh, any solutions or not. Uh, yes, and uh, Amar, you have sent uh, me your homework, right? Good. So Amar has uh, sent me the homework. Kashit, Shaymar, Rizwan. What about you guys? What about the homework?
sir. You have also sent. Oh, oh. Okay, Harshit. I didn't get any inbox. So maybe still early in the team has inbox. So any doubt in the question? Any of the questions? One problem was a very beautiful problem that I gave you guys. The last question. The last question was very, very nice. So, yeah, did you guys uh, try that question? So, let me ask the learning your team. Okay, so. So, Ashit's uh, one. Okay. I have sent it to the learner team about your homework. Yes, Hashid, uh, Shaima, what about you? You are not uh, giving me the homework. Rizwan, so you have also forgotten about the homework. Rizwan, uh, Shweb has just joined, so because he was not uh, here for the couple of uh, classes, so you will not uh, bother him with for the homework. But what about you guys? Yeah, now I have uh, got so, done in previous assignment, uh, done in previous assignment. So 11 and 16, uh, it was in the previous assignment, okay. And uh, what about the last uh, question? Okay, which problem they have uh, sent? Okay, so let's discuss uh, that about you. Let us do these uh, problems uh, quickly and then we will move on to the next part. Okay, so everyone, uh, we already know how to solve this problem, how to approach this problem. We already know. So please solve this and. Uh, okay, so this is all. Oh, this we have to do. So, okay, this was Amar's question, right? Amar, what should we do in this question? Yes, Amar, what should we do? Yes, Amar, what should we do in this question? Yes, Amar. Hello, Amar, can you hear me? Yes, so what should we do in this problem, Amar? Yeah, this is the problem. So uh, we have uh, this problem. Let us quickly, so we are stuck in this chapter, right? So let us quickly finish this and tell me what should we do in this part? Mm. So wh what are these uh, quantities? One plus sine A divided by one minus sine A. What is this? So in your homework, you have already done this problem, but in a different way. You have sent me your homework and this was the exactly question that you did. Only the difference was that there was a cos A. Hello, sir. Yeah, you have sent me your homework, right? This was the... Your voice is breaking. My voice is breaking. Oh, okay. So is it uh, audible now? Uh, also, one second. Yes. Uh, oh, for Rizwan, it is not breaking. So <coughs> you check your microphone. Okay. Uh, so, Harshit, Shaima, and Rizwan, what should we do in this question? 
everybody rationalize rationalize right yes. so we have yes yes rationalize so we have to rationalize so this is 1 minus sin a so we have to multiply it with 1 plus sin a and 1 plus sin a. right so this would be what this is 1 plus sin a whole square and uh, then we have uh, this is 1 minus sin square a. so amar what is 1 minus sin square a yes amar what is 1 minus sin square using the sin uh, identity what is 1 minus sin square a? Yes, guys. What is one? One minus sine square a. One minus sine square a. Cos square a. Cos square a, right? So this is a cos square a. So everything is a whole square. This is square. This is square. So this would be what? One plus sine a divided by cos. A. So what should we do next? Guys, yes. What should we do next? Yeah, everyone, everyone. This question is for everyone. What should we do next? Separate them. Separate them, right? So let us uh, write them separately, right? Good, good. So. Now what do we have? We have uh, this is uh, what this is sec a, and uh, this is what tan. So this was uh, the RHS, right? Okay, so please, uh, you guys, quickly note it down. And uh, yeah, today you guys are not responding. What is happening? So is there any thing that uh, I have missed, or do you guys want me to, or do you guys have something, uh, any doubt in this exercise? Yeah, please uh, don't hesitate and uh, tell me, right? Okay, where are you, Rizwan? Are you, are you traveling now? I guess, yeah, so I can hear some uh, vehicle sounds. Okay, okay so uh, whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. And uh, let us quickly. So we have uh, three questions. So Amar did this problem, then uh, Shweb, you go back and uh, see all the previous videos, and then you tell me whether you have any doubt or. So I guess that you won't be able to uh, understand uh, this class, right? Because you missed a uh, few classes. Before. So yeah, this one. What is happening with your? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so you can, you can, you can mute your mute your microphone. So this or in this class, yeah, yeah, you are spared for this okay, class. Sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we will not disturb uh, Rizwan in this class, guys, and then you guys have to respond. So. Ashit, Shaima, and uh, Amar, because, yeah, Shweb, so, so Shweb just uh, joined, so do not disturb Shweb also. Yeah, you guys quickly note it down and then, uh, then tell, uh, so that we can do this uh, seventh problem. So, if uh, Shweb and uh, Rizwan are, cannot uh, unmute themselves, so the question would be for, seventh question would be for Shaima. Shaima, Hashi, Damar. So it's, oh, Shaima, Amar, and Hashi. Yes, noted everybody? Yes, sir. 
yeah everyone ashit amar uh, noted yes okay so let us uh, do the text wait, wait. yeah so in the seventh uh, question we have a uh, sin theta minus of uh, two sin cube theta and then divided by two cos cube theta minus cos theta okay so this question for you sharma what is the first thing that we can do in the numerator in both the terms what is the first thing that we can do take sin theta common absolutely right good so we can take sin theta common right so this is 1 minus 2 sin square theta and in the denominator what we can do again take cos theta common absolutely right so take cos theta common so this is 2 cos square theta minus 1 now sin theta by cos theta we got so this is tan theta right yes sir which means that uh, these two terms are cancelling out somehow okay and uh, whenever we see sin square theta so the uh, the uh, what so this should uh, click something right right so some bulb should glow in our mind that this is sin square theta and uh, in the denominator we have cos square theta so in the numerator what we can do about uh, the sin square theta yes chaiba use identity use identity right so absolutely correct so this is tan theta okay and uh, 1 minus 2 and uh, what we can uh, write about this sin square theta what is sin square theta? yes cos square theta minus cos one cos square theta minus one or uh, the other way around 1 minus cos square theta yes yes 1 minus cos square theta good so okay now in the denominator what do we have and uh, then we have this one my oh who got disconnected who got this amar got disconnected so 2 plus 2 cos square theta and uh, this is 2 cos square theta good good chat so this should be what in the uh, numerator what do we have two cos square theta and minus 1 so tan theta which is uh, right uh, guys so we have to identify uh, which thing we have to use okay understood everyone any doubt in this question any doubt uh, in this question shyam you did this problem so this question is uh, not in no doubt uh, then you guys please note it down and then uh, harshad will tell us about the eighth question okay harshad harshad boss why are you not responding to me So in the previous class you learned that we have to be in the good behavior, right? So this bonding is also be good behavior, okay, guys? Yeah. So you, whenever you guys have finished uh, noting, please tell. Oh, okay. So everybody has 
have some background noises okay ashish okay so then uh, then okay so then i would be doing all the problems then uh, then uh, then you guys will not be practicing that is my only concern right guys because if i do all the problems then i am practicing all the questions you guys are not so that is uh, what i don't want to do right uh, guys okay then uh, okay so then uh, shaima the pattern is uh, with you so you hold the pattern of this class right so all the question would be directed to you okay yes yes good 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 ash good so good and uh, yeah you you are practicing and whenever you face any doubt please ask okay noted uh, everybody whenever you guys have okay da everyone yes sir okay so remember depending upon uh, what we want to prove so according to that uh, we will uh, proceed right so shaima in the eighth question in the eighth uh, question what do we have we have sin a plus cos a whole square and uh, plus cos a plus sec a whole square this is equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a full cot so oh amar yes amar you got a disconnect but what is the yes uh, so shaima this is uh, in the right hand side uh, we can see we can see there is tan square a and uh, there is cot square right uh, shaima yes sir so uh, what what is the trigonometric ratio that relates tan and uh, cot square what relates tan square a what relates cot square yes so this is the first identity what is the second identity sec square a plus tan square a equals 1 yes absolutely right so you can see that tan is related by sec right and uh, what is the third one cosec square a minus cot square a equals 1 right absolutely right so cot a relates cosec so in that way which one we should replace this one or this one similarly this one or this one which one we should replace because uh, either we can write sin a in terms of cosec a or we can write cosec a in terms of sin a so which one we should replace sin a sin a absolutely right so sin a what we can write about sin a yes what uh, we can write about uh, sin 1 by cosec a Yeah, so one by cosec a plus cosec a, right? And this is whole square plus this is a uh, one by sec a plus sec a whole square, right? So this is a uh, what? This is a uh, one plus this is what? Cosec square a. and divided by cosec a whole square 
and uh, plus this is what one plus six squared is divided by what this is a uh, six squared right and this is a uh, whole square correct is this a uh, correct yes sir so then uh, what we can write so then again we can write uh, this is uh, one plus and uh, this is uh, what this is cos x square a so we can write uh, this as or let us write as two cos x square a okay and uh, then this is uh, what so this is uh, this is cos x 4 a divided by cos x square a so this is one and then we have one plus two six square a plus six four a divided by six or oh, this is square oh your mic is not working about yeah okay so that is uh, that is okay no worry so this is a uh, six it's this is six squared now uh, what we can write so we have we have uh, so this is a uh, one by cos x square a right which is a uh, sine square a. so let us write it like that and then we have uh, two and then we have cos x square a and then uh, what do we have we have a uh, cos square a and then two, and then uh, this is what? Six squared. Am I correct, guys? Am I correct? Yes, Shaima, you tell. Because everyone's mic is not working. So is this uh, correct, uh, Shaima? So I didn't understand how you got this. Oh, so. What I did was whenever we have these, uh, okay. So we have these uh, three quantities and in the denominator we have one. So what we can do? Yes. What we can do? These three terms and in the denominator we have one. So what is the thing that we generally do? Separate uh, these terms, right? Is that uh, right? Yes. Sir. So this is uh, 1 minus cos x square a plus 2 cos x square a divided by cos x square a. Correct. And then this is cos x 4 a divided by cos x square a. This is correct. Similarly, this is 1 by 6 square a plus 2 6 square a by 6 square a and then this is 6 4 a divided by 6 square okay is this uh, clear yes sir okay so 1 by cos x square a is what sine square a right and you guys will see that why i'm writing it like this so this is cancelling, so this is 2. So this square is cancelling, this is 2. So this is cos x square a. And uh, again, this is cos square a. This is cancelling, this is 2. This is cancelling and we have 6 square. So what is uh, this one and uh, this one? What is this? 1. 1. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 2. 5. 5 uh, 6 square a plus cos 6 square a. Now the answer or the right hand side is in the terms of tan and uh, cot. So what should we do in here, Shai? Write 6 square in terms of tan square a. Yeah, which is uh, what? Yes. 
1 by tan square a by 1 by or 1 plus this is 1 minus. plus yeah so 1 plus tan square a and then similarly this is 1 plus cos square so we have 5 and then 7 plus tan square a and uh, plus cot square which is uh, the origin clear yes sir okay so please uh, note it down and we can do this uh, by changing this to sine also so that that is also correct if i write a 1 by sin a 1 by sin a so that is also correct no harm in doing that okay so you guys please note it down and whenever you guys uh finished uh, noting or want me to scroll down the screen you guys uh, tell me okay, we have two more questions and we have 20 minutes i wanted to start uh, probability So, Whenever you guys have finished uh, noting, please tell Yes, completed a uh, guys. Yes, sir. Okay, so now let us quickly. So, uh, what do we have? What is the next question? Okay, so the next question is uh, this. So we have a ninth problem, which is uh, cosec k minus sine a. And uh, then this is uh, sec a minus uh, cos. And we have to prove that this is one by tan a plus cot okay so in the end uh, it is given uh re simplify lhs and uh, rhs separately so what we can do is that uh yeah so let us write a uh, all in the terms of sine and cos so whenever we don't have any direction so we can write in that way and we can also see that this is in the form of tan and cot so but we don't have any square 
So let us write it only in terms of sine and cos. So LHS is uh, what? 1 by sine A minus sine A and uh, this is uh, 1 by cos A minus cos A. So if we take, this is multiplication, okay. So if we take LCM, this is 1 minus sine square A and uh, this is cos A 1 minus cos A square. So what is uh, this quantity? What is 1 minus sine square A, Shaima? Cos square A. Cos square A, right. So this is cos square A divided by sine A. And then this is uh, sine square A divided by cos A. So 1 cos A cancel, 1 sine A cancel. So we have sine A into uh, cos A into sine A or sine A into cos A. This is what we have in the LHS. Okay. Now let us uh, solve the right hand side. So in the right hand side, uh, what do we have? One by sine a by cos a plus cos a by sine. So if we take uh, the LCA, this is cos a into sine a, and uh, this is sine square a plus this is divided and cos square. So what is this? What is this, uh, Shaima? One. This is one and it goes in the numerator. So this is uh, sine A into cos A divided by one, which is, uh, which is LHS, right. So any doubt in this question, guys? No, sir. Please uh, note it down. And uh, there would be a class assessment test, right? So please, please be there. And that is on probability. So let us quickly, what I will do is that I will leave the last question to you guys. Yes, there is one. Yes, there is one. <laughs> yeah, so you, you don't unmute today, okay, Rizwan? So, uh, noted everyone. Yes, yes, uh, no okay, so everyone is uh, noted and then I will leave the last question to you guys. Oh, this one is uh, directly you can solve, right? 1 plus tan square A, you know, 1 plus quad square, you know. And uh, you can directly put the value and then you'll get the answer. And in this, you just uh, expand this and then you'll get the answer. So, okay, I will uh, leave uh, this question to you guys. Okay, so now at, at last uh, we have uh, finished this chapter. So now let us move on to. Why it is not very good, right?
Okay, so we are happy about that. Yeah, so uh, what is uh, probability, right? So it is the chance of something happening, right? So let's say you toss a coin, okay? So if you toss any coin, right? And uh, it can be two types of uh, coin, right? It can be two types of coin that uh, we have uh, disfigured the coin in such a way that we only have we can we can only have uh, head or tail, right? So what what we have done is that the coin is not symmetrical. So at some portion it is heavy and at some portion it is some portion it is light, right? So whenever we toss that coin, so we we will always get the heavier one side. So in that way our coin is not biased. In uh, in our uh, in for our case. All the coins, all the things that we do are unbiased, right? So the coins are fair. Fair meaning that they are equal chance that we get, we can get head or we can get tail. So in that way, the first thing for our purpose is that the the coins are fair, right? Coins are fair means me it means that it is not biased biased meaning that if i if i have a coin such that it only gives me head so we, it means that it is biased coin right somehow we have disfigured uh, that coin and it is only giving us the head so this so so in our case the coin is uh, not uh, biased it is unbiased it is fair who got uh, this correct yeah so okay so coins are fair right and if we toss coins so what we can get we can either get head or we can get tail right so tossing a coin so what are the chances of getting head right and uh, this is called uh, probability. So probability of getting head is uh, we have two possibilities, right? We have two possibilities, and one of the possibility is that we can get head. So total possibility, or we have learned in our ninth class, that probability is uh, favorable outcome. divided by total outcome right so uh, yeah so what is uh, the favorable outcome oh this chapter was skipped in ninth okay yeah so okay so probability of any event is uh, favorable outcome favorable meaning that what are the chances or what is the number that we can get that thing and uh, it is divided by total outcome total outcome means that total possibilities so when we toss a coin there can be two possibilities one would be that it is head or the other would be that it is tail so this is when we uh, when we toss one coin, right? So the uh, the favor of getting head is what? It is one, right? So well, this favorable outcome is one, and total outcome is uh, how? Many? 
there are two outcomes right so this is two similarly if i ask you that what is the probability of getting tail so this is again what favorable outcome divided by total of so this is again what this is 1 right and total is uh, so this is uh, what we call uh, probability right probability is a uh, chance of happening a scenario right so if i ask you that what is the chance of getting hit so that is uh, half 50% chance that i can get hit right probability is uh, half okay so this is uh, what do we mean by probability and uh, there are certain uh, terms right so certain specific terms that we should uh, talk about first what is the method is uh, One moment, uh, right. Yeah. So now you guys uh, tell me. Oh, first let us uh, let us learn about some definition. So first thing is that uh, one is uh, called the impossible event. Right. So if I toss a coin and uh, i ask you that what is the probability of uh, of getting a a number 5 right so if i if i toss a coin right and i ask you that what is the probability that i get uh, number 5 so what is what can be the probability zero zero right because uh, i cannot uh, get uh, six right so what are the favorable outcome for getting six favorable outcome is uh, zero right and total outcome is uh, what total outcome is uh, two so probability of getting six right so this would be zero by two so this is zero so this is an impossible event i cannot uh, toss a coin and get number five number eight or number something like that right similarly uh similarly uh there is a, a thing called certain event So let's say that if I toss a coin, right, if I toss a coin and ask you that what is the probability of getting either head or tail, right, so what is the favorable outcome then? What is the favorable outcome? I am asking that what is the probability of getting either head or tail? Tail. So, what is uh, what is the total number of uh, outcome that I that I can have? Two. Two, right? So this is two, and uh, the total outcome is uh, what? This is two. So probability of getting either head or tail. This is union you have not learned. So yeah. H or T. So this is 2 by 2. So this is 1. So we can uh, surely say that whenever we are tossing a coin, 
so we can get either head or tail so we are certain that we'll get one of them uh, eventually right so this is called the certain event so let's say that if i roll a dice right if i roll a dice so dice has how many numbers so let's say this is a this is a dice okay so some certain numbers are embedded let's say this is uh, this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 so these are the numbers embedded on the dice right so if i ask you that what is the probability that i get a number less than 7 right so what is the probability that i get a number which is less than 7 so the total outcome is that i can get either 1 i can get either 2 i can get either 3 i can get 4 i can get 5 and i can get 6 so total outcome is uh, what total outcome is 6 right and uh, and probability that i get uh, less than 7 so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 so the favorable outcome is uh, how how much this is also 6 so probability of getting less than 7 is 6 by 6 which is 1 so this is also a certain event, right whenever i roll a dice so i will certainly get a number which is less than 7 right is this uh, clear yes sir okay so uh, then uh, yeah so this is uh, what is all about and then we have this elementary event so elementary event so this is one kind of uh, probability let's say that if i roll if i toss a coin right and then uh, then it is coming head or tails so i can get uh, head this is one kind and then i can get uh, tails so this is another kind so probability of uh, getting head right so this is uh, called the elementary event or probability of getting a uh, tail this is also elementary okay so these are one of a kind uh, events right i cannot uh, get head in uh, two times right so i i toss a coin and then i i get a head and then i, I, I again toss a coin and i can i can get also i can get head or tail so these are the only events that i can have right so these are called the elementary events okay at one time i can go i can get only one kind of uh, event so this is called the elementary events is that uh, clear who is joining and who has joined uh, okay so we have so many people faiz uh, yeah faiz abid amira and uh, yes hello guys assalam alaikum okay so give me one moment guys yeah and uh, let me ask you that uh, if i toss two coins simultaneously okay simultaneously or if i toss a coin two times two times toss so what are the event that uh, can come who's going to tell me what are the events uh, that can come yes guess guys uh, guess let me let me say one event 
So you can get uh, in both the times head head. So this is uh, one event, right? And uh, what is the other one? What is the other one? So tail and tail, okay. And then we have tail and tail. And uh, what is what are the other ones? Heads and tail. Heads and tail. Okay, and uh, tail and head. Good. So, can we have another scenario? Can we have more? No. Okay, good. So, these are the total outcomes that can happen. Right. So, total, total outcome. This is and in the next class i will ask you about let's say we toss three points so i will ask about uh, this in the next so you guys think about it and let me see i will tell you the first one so this is uh, the first one and amar will say that uh, this is the one okay so these are the to and you guys find out that what are the other possibilities so think about it and uh, tell me in the next class but you guys be there be there for the class assessment okay. Walikum salam, walikum salam. yeah so okay you guys didn't note it down so in the next class uh you guys did not okay yeah so you guys log into the uh, learning account and find the active test. Okay. This is for, uh, and uh, today's uh, uh, backup class will happen at uh, 6 uh, 15. Okay. KSB. So, Hashid and uh, Shaima and uh, Shweb okay. and uh, you guys join at, uh, yeah, join at 6 uh, 15. You guys, please uh, log into your learning your account and uh, please find the active test. Okay, so we have seven minutes. Yeah, sorry that I'm taking seven minutes. Uh, uh, Abir, Amira, and uh, Faz, and 6.15 or 7.15. Yeah, 6.15 to 7.15, yes. 6.15 to 7.15, which is, uh, which is uh, what? Uh, so 7.30 to 8.30, yeah, so 8.45 p.m. IST to 9.45 p.m. IST. This is uh, what, 6.15 TSA to 7.15 TSA. Yes, did you guys uh, find the active test? No, sir. Yes, uh, no, has found, yeah. So, you guys, please take that test and uh, you guys can. Yeah, if you guys have found. Oh, you don't, you didn't find any test? No, sir. Which answer you asked? I didn't okay, have. So, okay, so we'll take the test in the next class. Okay.